Hi all, Cynthia here back with a 12 by 12 layout. You saw the photos there and this is all the papers and the goodies that I received. So this layout is the first one using my September kit from the Wild Hair Kits. If you haven't heard of the Wild Hair Kits, I'll make sure I leave all their details in the description box below. But basically you receive a handcrafted kit based on what you like. So you create a style profile you talk about the colors you like and you can talk about the, the fact that you don't want thickers or that you love sequence and um, all sorts of different things and based on what you say you'll get a kit created just for your personal preferences so for this particular kit i said i would love some paper i would love a kit based around the Pink Fresh Studio Simple and Sweet collection. So I received the whole 6x6 paper pad, the enamel dots, the um, round, what they call epoxy stickers, and the ephemera pack. And then I received these papers here as well. So some of them are from the Simple and Sweet collection, and some of them are from other collections, which just coordinate really well um, with the the pattern with the papers so I've gone through all of those and pulled out these two pieces here love this lemon paper it's just beautiful and I'm going to team it up with this um, grid paper so I've just trimmed them both down and I make a big boo-boo here put me double-sided tape on and then bang look at that I'm putting that paper on upside down I want to use the lemon with the grid, not the chevron with the grid. And it's around about here. I go, uh, uh, mm, what am I going to do? I try to peel it up. I can see it's probably going to tear if I do it. So maybe I'll just try to make it work. I think about making it work, but it's just not what I have my heart set on. So I do pull it up and cut myself another piece of grid paper and go again. So this layout is also over on the blog, on the Wild Hair Kits blog, and their details, as I said, will be below. So jump on over there. There's some close-up photos and there'll also be um, my talking about what I did in the process as well so you can hop on over there and read that here I go I have all these circles and then I'm just going to lay them down here on the left hand side I pretty much scrap lifted myself here I created a page going back oh, maybe three years ago thereabouts with the same design where I had the circles that went down the left hand side and the photos on the um, on the right. I think in that one, if I remember correctly, I only used one photo and it was of our dog at the beach running through the waves. But in this particular one, I've used two. So back to my photos there with just some of the papers that I punched out all the circles from. So carrying on the the same colors and the tones and throughout and I'm going to ink up all the edges using some distress oxide ink I'm not a big inker of um, papers but occasionally I will do it on this one I just felt like they were blending in a little bit with the background so I did I inked up the edges but once again I don't do everything on the page I'm ink up the edges of the bottom photo there but I don't do the top photo and I don't think I ink anything else that goes onto the page either so <laughs> I'm not consistent at it but that's okay I'm happy I like the end result so just trying to get that blue the blue circles there to spread evenly down the page and I'll now go down and stick them all down. I don't make you watch me do all those because you can see what I do. There we go, all done. I have popped up a few of the circles 
with some phone tape to give them a little bit of dimension. And I'll just nestle this journaling piece in the, around those other circles in the photos and that's where I'll do my journaling. I come in with those epoxy stickers that you can see there off to the left. Um, so they're also from the Simple and Sweet collection and I'll spread a few of those throughout the circles as well just to give some different texture. Uh, I decided I'll do my journaling first and voila, there we go, all done. So I just to talk about when we arrived in Queensland for our holiday and arrived at our step, or my stepdaughter's house, she has a pool, and the first thing Edward said was, here's the deal. He said, I'm getting two swims a day in. He said, I'm having one in the morning and one in the afternoon. And sure enough, he stuck to his word. He had one every morning and one every afternoon. The water was freezing. He could took him 10 minutes to tippy-toe his way in. He would spend about 10 minutes in there, and by then he was blue, <laughs> and he'd get out. But um, he was determined that he was going to go for a swim twice a day. Bless him. So I think he thoroughly enjoyed himself. So what have I done now? You saw that I put a few of those epoxy stickers spread throughout. I've got my journaling down and now I'm going through the ephemera pack to see what I can use. And I'm going to add my title. So with my kits that I receive, I request that I do not receive any thickers as I have a drawer full of packs of thickers and I don't need any more. So I've just dug into my stash here and pulled out some thickers here that I think will go really well. The colours just blend in so well with this collection. And they are the thickers are just from our local what do we call it here? Is it the reject shop? I think. Yep, I think I got them from the reject shop. Um, really nice thickers. They have some really good product there. Um, and then I'm gone and found some tiny little alphas and my title's going to be Here's the Deal. So I use uh, these thickers for Here's a Deal and then I just use the tiny little alphas for the, i pop that into the middle there. Then I go and glue down the thickers. I have to add some additional glue as they don't have very good glue on the back of them. And I've glued all those down now. Just bringing in some more um, epoxy stickers while thinking about it. And I do bring a couple more in, but first off I'm going to go through the ephemera pack and see what I can use. Love this lemon, the way it works well with the background. So I'm going to try to get that in. And then I just go through and I just test things out and pop up through few things here and pop a few things there and shuffle around until I find something that I like. Let's see. I really love this little banner. I I actually quite like it there like that. I think that looks really well under the title but at the time I didn't see that and it does stay on the page but it doesn't stay there. Um, looking back now, I do really like it just sitting underneath that title. It could have worked, but at the time, I just felt like it was getting quite busy down in that area. So, as I said, it stays and I move it. But I'll just go through all the ephemera, trying up, mixing up a few different things. I got a little bit stuck on this corner here among the two photos, and I did pause the camera and I sort of shuffle things around and mix things up for a little while and you'll come back and I see I actually settled on a design and I think when I come back I've glued it all down but it's basically just trial and error until I come up with something that I liked. So I've put that little banner up the top and that's where it will stay. I also pop some little foam um, behind that to give it a little bit of dimension too. Here we go, this is where I cut away from this top banner and I was getting frustrated, nothing seemed to be working but I wanted to have something there 
and voila there we go all on I have a nice little cluster there so I have sort of have main cluster that runs right down the right hand the left hand page and then a couple of little clusters around the photos as well adding some enamel dots to continue carry on or continue with the circle theme and bring those pops of color around the page and I am done some close-up photos coming up so stay tuned and have a look at that as I said pop on over to the wild hair kits and check them out all the details will be below until next time everyone have a lovely day a lovely week or a lovely month and thank you so much for watching I appreciate it talk to you on the next one bye